Okay, hello to everyone. I am Rabbi Howard Wolk. I'm the community chaplain with Jewish Family Service of Dallas, and I work closely with the uh, dedicated individuals at Faith Presbyterian Hospice, and I'm uh, flattered that they've asked me to share with you a brief message uh, for today, and I hope you'll find it um, uh, relevant. Uh, certainly, we all together are going through tumultuous uh, times, and hopefully in the not too distant future, in terms of uh, health concerns and the pandemic, uh, we will uh, come up with the vaccination and uh, be able to really uh, somehow get life back to normal. Uh, one of the things that I think we're all missing is um, really close interaction between people. Hopefully we all have family members that we're able to visit with uh, but if not, uh, uh, Zooming and FaceTime have really become the order of the day. Uh, and perhaps one of the things that we've lost uh, during these last uh, many months now uh, is the um, little exchanges between people, uh, which at first glance may seem to be not very important, but I think really relate to a connection that individuals must have one with the other. Uh, in a, a couple of weeks, we'll be celebrating Thanksgiving, uh, a very important uh, holiday. And perhaps uh, this year, more than most, we really have to put into perspective what we are thankful for. Those of us, uh, thank God, who have a good health, uh, who have family members, uh, who have employment, uh, are able to enjoy our lives as changed as they may be. Uh, really, those are reasons to be thankful. Uh, but it's also very important to express appreciation and thanks to other individuals. Uh, and a very basic, important concept. From a biblical or Jewish uh, perspective, it's actually the most basic of all concepts because uh, the English word Jewish uh, comes from the Hebrew Yehuda, Judah. Judah was one of the sons of Jacob, one of the 12 tribes, the kingdom of Judah that came later, the tribe of Judah, uh, all from the Hebrew word Yehuda, which we translate as Judah. Uh, when he is born, his mother Leah names him, and she says, now that I've had a fourth son, I give thanks to God. And she called them Yehuda, Judah. So the word Judah or Jewish, whatever language we may be speaking, uh, is defined as uh, giving thanks. That's what the word Jewish means to give thanks. In fact, when we wake up in the morning, the first word we say is, I give thanks to God for restoring my life to me. So very basic to even the name Jewish is to give thanks. And I would say from a, an overall perspective, it's important for us to realize that expressing appreciation to people who do things for us, saying thank you, is important not just on the fourth Thursday of the month of November, as important as the day of Thanksgiving is, but really vital every day of the year, whether it's spouse, family members, people who do things for us, those of us who have healthcare specialists, nurses, uh, chaplains, it's important to say thank you to those uh, individuals because it really, uh, I think, cements the relationship uh, between people. And now during the pandemic, perhaps more than previously, it's really important for us to try to concentrate on those things that bring us together uh, as a community, as a nation, and really to bring people together worldwide. Um, so I hope that you will all enjoy the Thanksgiving holiday, enjoy the company of your friends and relatives, whether they be in person or via FaceTime or Zoom, and hopefully, in the not too distant future, we can all say, uh, thank God that the pandemic is over. Thank you to all those who researched 
uh, for a vaccine. Uh, and thank you for th those individuals who protect us on a daily basis. Thank you for your attention and shalom. <laughs>